Hello and welcome to AFL Riverina TV. I'm your host, Simon Anderson. This week, the focus is on the Gamman Grong Grong Madong Footy Club. And joining me to talk about it is former president Barry Logan and current coach Jaden Kotzer. Thanks for joining us, boys. Yeah, Cheers. So. Barry, you were the uh, inaugural president of the Gamain uh, Putty Club. Tell us uh, a little bit about how the uh, Lions were formed and what it will mean to take a game back to Madong this weekend. Oh, well, late 1981, uh, we were approached by Ian Ferguson, the then president of the Grong Grong Madong Football Club, and uh, he was looking to the future. He could see that both clubs were getting a little bit weaker and it was going to be harder to compete in the years to come. And we. Uh, both had public meetings and uh, surprisingly there was no objection or a little bit perhaps just on the retaining the jumpers but uh, that's why we had to change and make a neutral uh, jumper but other than that um, both towns were very keen to go and uh, uh, the VCFL late 1981 sent up a committee to investigate the boundaries and leagues and all that and uh, they were looking to change the number of clubs in the league uh, we were the South West League in those days was a 10 team comp and uh, they come up with uh, views to changing it all and putting some out and putting some in and uh, we were a bit concerned but I think they were, when we told them we were going to amalgamate and they were very happy and uh, from memory I think Kuta Mundra went out of that league and Grong Grong Madong went out that brought us back to eight and the next year they brought in four more clubs up to a 12 team comp which they brought in East Wagga, North Wagga Borellan and Wagga Tigers. That made us a 12-team comp and uh, so we started off a new slate as the Riverina Football League and a 12-team comp as Genmain Grong Grong Madong United. So uh, that's how it happened and uh, it's proved a very successful thing over the years. I think uh, we didn't uh, have a raging success the first year. I think it was, we won 11 games which wasn't too bad. It was about the same in 83 and then 84. Um, we won the Premiership in the first, we uh, won the Premiership in the seconds. It's the only one we have won in the, uh, the River Inner Football League, so they're hard to come by in the twos. And uh, we were runner-up in the under-19s in those days, uh, lost to the grand final by one point. But we did win uh, three out of the first five years under-19s Premierships under the coach of Tommy Carroll. We won 83, uh, 80. 82, 83 and uh, runner up 84 and won 85. So that's been the start of a very, very successful club. Uh, but on Grong Grong had uh, probably half a dozen very good footballers when they amalgamated and that sort of capped it all off. They had a fantastic supporter base, uh, probably one of the best in the league. And uh, it was very, very good that we had success in that 84 for those people who have been battling away Matt on Grong Grong hadn't won a premiership and uh, they finally won one and uh, uh, the main thing they wanted to do they retain their identity so that's why the name is Genwain Grong Grong Madong and uh, they're still a very very strong supporter base that's one of the reasons we're going back this weekend to give something back to the uh, Madong Grong Grong people uh, we've made the heritage game and uh, a 30 year reunion of that first premiership 1984 uh, for the first and uh, seconds and uh, we also had a 10-year reunion for the um, 2004 which is under Shane Lennon with premiers again so it should be a big weekend. It's gonna, definitely going to be a very big weekend as you mentioned sort of humble beginnings the club went on to sort of become a powerhouse. Jaden before you came to the Lions what did you know about the club and did you feel any pressure about taking on the top job? Uh, look, I, I was quite fortunate. Um, I'd played alongside uh, Luke and Nick Carroll, as well as Mitch Carroll over at Albury Tigers. Um, I also played with Luke Maloney, who was at, uh, is still at Coolman. So they spoke heavily of, of the rivalry in, in the competition. Um, and obviously, you know, just being up the road, we, we knew how successful you know, Gamay and Grong Grong Madong were. Um, currently, you know, really good mates with Mitchell Carroll, who's, who's over at Collie Amberley at the moment. Uh, so, you know, he was always keeping me tabs on what was going on and, you know, as, as time progresses, I suppose, you, you keep tabs on, on other, other teams and other clubs and when the opportunity arose, I knew, knew what, a, what a sensational club and, and what a rich history it has had in the past and, um, you know, I jumped at the opportunity to get on board. So. What would you say the, the philosophy of the footy club is? I just think it's a, um, 
a huge family based club. Um, you can just tell the amount of support that we get on a weekly basis. Uh, you know, even, even the people turning up to training, uh, supporting their cooking the barbecues. Uh, um, dinners, we get fed on a Tuesday, Thursday night or a Wednesday, Friday night. I don't know any, many other clubs that you know, provide dinners like that for, for all the lads. Um, you know, it's, just, it's just great to be a part of. Um, and I think, I think the lads you know, really enjoy that. And I think that's part of the reason why they have been fortunate enough to be so successful you know, over the last few years. And do you think that you know that's something that uh, has stayed the same over time, Barry? Yes, and I think another thing too. I think we purchased a small bus there because we our greatest uh, number of the players now work in Wagga. It's very hard to retain uh, retain them. The drought over the years has sort of seen all the farmers' sons move on, and uh, so probably 75, 80 percent of our players work in Wagga. So the, with the bus, and again, that's why the meals come on the because by the time they get home, the bus is pretty late at night. So they give them a meal before they leave, and uh, uh, just the bonding and all that of the club and it keeps it very strong. When you were involved in setting the club up, did you imagine that it would ever go on to have the success that it has? Well, Yen Bain had always had a lot of success over the years, uh, probably more back in the 50s and 60s there that they won a lot more premierships in a period. They were starting to get a bit further between in the la last few years. But uh, yes, we believe that the players that Madong, Madong Grong Grong had and their supporter base, you know, their players, you're looking at Mick Walsh, Denzo Walsh, I think Wayne Nugget Evans, who won the uh, Quinn Medal in '84, played with South Melbourne a little bit. Big Laurie Gibson was the ex-coach of Madong Grong Grong. You know, they were, they were all a very, very strong nucleus for the side. And, and as I said earlier, we won that three out of the first five under-19 premierships. And Tommy Carroll, uh, very, very good coach, was a nucleus of you know strength for years to come, and which it's been. And uh, Jaden, this season hasn't all been plain sailing. Uh, a couple of tight results that haven't gone your way. How have you, you know, uh, what have you learnt from the first half of the season and what are you hoping for the back end? Yeah, look, we've gone in with a, a pretty small side this year. Um, so we've probably changed tactic a little bit, trying to hold, you know, keep possession of the footy a little bit more. And uh, without having a couple of those big targets down there to, to kick the ball to, probably makes it a little bit you know, more difficult to kick winning scores. But in saying that, I think we've been kicking enough goals to win games. We just haven't probably uh, kept teams out, you know, in a, in a five or ten minute period throughout throughout games. So, look, we're looking to probably just tighten down in, in our midfield and our back line. Um, and, and hopefully, you know, we uh, start winning a few, a few more of these close games. And, you know, it's just all about winning games in the second half of the year and, and gaining momentum heading towards finals. And obviously a big game against some old arch rivals for the Magpies and Narandra. Uh, it must be an exciting one for the boys to be playing out at Madong, but also to be playing against some arch rivals of the club. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've uh, spoken about it. We trained last night and we spoke about it quite heavily last night. And, and I know the boys are, are super excited to get back out and play at Madong. I think it's been you know, eight years since the last That's game. Um, you know, I obviously haven't played there before, so you know it's, it is. And it's always a good test against Narandra, so we're all looking forward to it. And obviously a bit of pressure for the boys with some of the old boys out there this weekend. There will be, yes. <laughs> and probably uh, they're playing in the old Madong Grong Grong colours too, the uh, black and white, so that's a little bit. But as you mentioned earlier, there was a lot of ri rivalry between Grong Grong, Madong and Narandra. Uh, nearly matched the Genmain Kuhlman rivalry, but uh, so it's carried on that way and uh, it's a good game to win. Well, guys, thank you very much for joining us today and uh, good luck for the weekend. Thank you. Cheers. We'll leave you now with some images of the ground out at Madong, all ready to go for its first game since 2006 and only its second since the last game in the Southwest League 33 years ago.